Hey guys, Mike here. I'm Laura. Match made in heaven. Hey, we dressed up today. We did. It's, it's work day. We dressed up for it. And the dog that you hear whining sometimes, it's her birthday. Today's Rosie's birthday. She's 14 years old. Happy Halloween, by the way. What are we doing today, Laura? Today we are going to do a how-to video on how to tile a um, shower floor on top of the Schluter pan. Sweet. And show you how to set the grate. Um, this is the grate. And then this is really cool. We get to tile this too so it looks like it's part of the floor so you don't even see the drain. So, so we're getting closer to using this shower. <laughs> yes. I can't wait. Me either. So um, today I'm going to be, this is the tile we're going to use. It's rocks. Um, I'll show you how to on this. If I had not watched a YouTube video, Michael, on how to install this rock tile, I would have messed it up royally. Uh -oh. So um, please watch and see how you set this tile. It's not like any other tile. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like Match Made in Heaven, if you like these videos, they're helpful to you. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Tell us what we messed up on. We're human. We're not. You're not going. We're not perfect. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see future uh, videos and be alerted of those, uh, hit the little bell and turn on the notifications. But thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Happy birthday, Rosie. And have a great day, everybody. See ya. <laughs>the product that we're using to mortar the tile floor just wanted you to see it we are using ceramic tile in our other shower we use porcelain porcelain's a whole lot more fragile to use but um we're using the ceramic tile mortar by i don't know how to say that name my pie anyway that's it so we are getting ready to mix the mortar so that we can set the tile into the floor and um, we kind of eyeball it <laughs> it's probably why we mess up some but um, you mix it three minutes let it set five minutes and then mix it another minute how did i get here i um what we did first is we put the schluter membrane on the wall it's just like hanging wallpaper, guys. It's so easy. You just got to make sure you get the bubbles out of it. Then we came back and we mortared the plywood floor. Then we installed the shower pan. So easy. So much easier than floating your own floor. Um, it has the natural um, dip in it, so you don't have to worry about that. Then, after we did that, we covered the corners with the um, curdy band. And then, as you can see, the white spots are the curdy caulk. So, me, it just made us feel better to use the caulk in these places that we didn't feel like were 100% waterproof. So, we used that around the shower turn-on valve or mixing valve is what it's called. And then we used it around just places that didn't look tight to me. So today we are going to install our shelf into our niche. Again, so easy. We'll show you how to do that. Show you how to rock tile your shower floor. And then also we're gonna um, rock tile the back side of our niche. Again, Laura does all the easy work. I've got to rip all these rocks off of this mesh for her. Uh, this, you'll see how she uses these individual rocks uh, when she puts down the uh, foot by foot pieces, the square pieces. They're not completely square as you can see, they're rocks, but when she puts those down she'll use these individuals 
Uh, so that doesn't look like so much of a pattern and it doesn't look like perfectly uh, even square. So you'll see that soon. Do that first. Okay. Um, I had to pull some rocks off of the sheets. So you see that we have a lot of um, empty space. You can pull your rocks off of this uh, mesh. That's what I've been doing. That's the hard part. That Exactly. So what you do is you just look in your box, since your husband loves you so much, and he pulls them off for you, and then you just fill in the spaces <coughs> and push it into the mortar. And if you liked crafts, and mosaic tiling in school, let me tell you, you will love this project. I enjoyed that in school, the mosaics. So you just fill in these empty spots. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm OCD, um, so I have to keep telling myself it doesn't have to look perfect. It's mosaic and it will look beautiful. Oh, this Schluter stuff, like I've been saying, is so easy. It's got the cutout right here. It's just a mortar. Mortar around this area here. And then in there and this is your little um, tile ring that's for the grate mm-hmm for the grate and you just set that in there and see how the mortar comes through those little trapezoid shapes that's what you want that means you got enough to hold it in there the cat's going to end up tiled the cats like to eat the tile <sighs> the mortar Tile to the floor. So um, this also comes with this little square thing, and you set it inside there. Uh -oh. There we go. All right. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our box that Michael so graciously pulled apart for us. And we're just going to try and fill in any of the empty spots we see. So this takes a minute. Just it's a puzzle. Yeah. So if you like puzzles, you might enjoy this. All right. There's one. Found a piece. Found a piece. Oh, two pieces. So see, now it won't look like square. Hopefully. Looking good, Laura. Yeah? Can't wait to get a hot shower in there. Hey, what's that black thing for? That's... How's the water going to drain? That's too high. Well, that's my tile guide. Oh. So I don't go past that. Oh. So that when I tile this little booger, it, it'll fit in there. That comes out? That this pops out and this sits in there. Looking good, babe. All right, we'll get it done. So, guys, we hope this helps you. If you're doing um, tile over Schluter base and a Schluter niche, next we'll capture the tile that Laura has chosen over the membrane, over the walls, and over the curb here on the end. So. I don't like that job because my, I do have a hard part then, honey. I really have to work and cut it. Yeah, you have to. You have to actually work. So, not looking forward to that <laughs> video. Have a great day. Little great. I <laughs> ran out. I only have three little rocks left. 
So we're going to have to buy a whole another $10 tile <laughs> for two or three more rocks. But anyway, I want to show you. Hey honey, I'll tell you what. Christmas is coming up. I'll buy one more for your Christmas present. <laughs> Thank you, sugar. All right. So what you'll do is you'll take your um, masonry, whatever this is called, <laughs> mortar, and you'll put it on the purdy part side of your grate. And then you just mosaic tile around that and then you set it in your floor. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Thanks for watching. By the way, don't forget to check out our merchandise on Teespring. Appreciate your support. Have a great day.